YouTube. How y'all doing, man? Yeah, oh, y'all see, y'all see the on the hoodie. Red point, go get that. I'm gonna put it somewhere in this jump. And hey, I'm recording off the face cam. But yeah, YouTube. In this video, this is basically just a shape up video. Uh, everybody else call it a tape up. Back home from DC, we we call it a shape up. But in this jump, that's what it is. But hopefully, y'all enjoy this video. That's it, man. And let's get to this video. Back with another one, man. I know I already did intro and everything already. I just want to talk to y'all. How y'all doing? It's been a cool little minute since I dropped a video for y'all. But this video, cool little shape up. Everybody else call it tape up. So cool little shape up video. But to kick this video off, y'all see what I'm doing right here. I'm just bringing all the axes here down to one level and one guard, one length. Not one guard, one length. Y'all gonna see me do that for a little minute. I just wanna make sure everything is at the, the right length. And just to let y'all know, this is my boy Cosmo Cousin. So, hey, I appreciate Cosmo for telling his peoples about me and trying to support me because I'm gonna support him the way he support me. So, that's ganging him. Y'all, we was just having like conversations throughout the whole haircut. So if you see like little stops in here and there, it's because we was having conversations. And so I did everything else with knocking everything down to one level. I did everything else with the one guard open. And then on hit on this, I think that's his right side. On his right side, I had to do um one guard close eventually because the hair just wasn't knocking down the way I needed to. And you see, I'm going against the grain. And just using my corners and flicking out at the very top to help blend it in a little more. And y'all, I'm sorry for the camera angle. I thought I had the, the camera high enough to where you could see me lining him up all the way. But towards the end, you're gonna see basically everything that y'all need to see and how how it came out. And y'all see, I got the little the little dual fade brush comb thing. I got that. I ordered from Amazon. Um, Everything that I get is either from Amazon or from the company itself. So, go get y'all product. So here y'all, what I'm doing is I'm lining up his C cups just to just to have the foundation on how his C cup should be. Because yeah, everything is not final once you finish. Like once you finish doing it the first time, it's not final because you're always going to go back and see imperfections once you're, you know, once you start doing other things to the haircut or to the lineup. And then after that, you're going to see me start on his vertical bar. Well, I'm wrong. Not even his vertical bar. I'm, going, I'm lining up behind the hair. Um, as you see, he hasn't had a haircut, I don't believe, in a minute, so that's why it looks like I'm pushing him back, but it's not even that. It's just overhang, and he just got his hair braided. He just got his hair braided, so that's all that really is. Um, Using the corners of my, my trimmer as I get around the ear, like the top of the ear, and going like around the ear. At the top, I'm using my corners and switching from my left corner to my right on my right corner. Um, he didn't want no temp or nothing. He just wanted a, a shape up or a tape up. So, giving him a nice, clean, crispy, natural looking enhanced tape up or shape up. And this is his first time getting a hazard. So, I just had to show him what, who I am and what I'm capable of doing. And trying to build more clientele and new clients. Same thing I just did on his right side. I'm gonna do it on this on this left side. Line the back up and flip my trimmer over to clean up all the axis here from around the the uh, 
Like the end of it. I'm just gonna line them up. See, I'm trying to do this C cup to, to match it up and make it as perfect as possible off like off my first attempt. But like I just told y'all earlier, nothing is ever gonna be like perfect off first attempt. So that's just how how I, I try to be efficient with my my strokes and my movement with cutting hair. And one thing I, I do notice, um, like I've been seeing a lot of other barbers, they they line up their clients like before they even start cutting hair. So like if they make in their ball lines, they'll li also line up their client. And I see that that is a more effective because it causes you not to have to pick up your your trimmers as much as much and keep them keep them as sharp as possible because you don't dull them out or. And the other thing, because I do use my trimmers to ball it out. Most people say you're not, you don't, don't do that or not supposed to, but I do use my trimmers to ball it out. Even though my clippers are zero gap, um, I just want to get a pair of um, detachable coolers clippers. So I can use those for balding. But as you see, I'm still going over there. The, this back line behind the ear because his hair is still long behind back there so it when you brush it to the side or anything you still see hair hanging over the line and you don't want that so you want it to, you want it to last as, lo as long as possible excuse me but here, y'all about to see me break. Y'all about to see me start off my line. Like I said, start off my line, doing my, I'm a, first what I'm gonna do, my vertical bars. My vertical bars do help you, it does help you see how to meet your corners. Like the top of the vertical bar, it does see, help you see how to meet those two ends together to make a more straighter hairline in. So, that's what I, I, I'm doing now. I'm starting to do. And here, y'all, love as well. Go follow them on Instagram. This is my cousin clothing brand. Um, I need y'all to support him like y'all support me because I support him like he support me. Um, but yeah, he, he about to drop more clothing, more hoodies, more pants, more shirts, more shorts. Well, anything you could think of, man. Ski mask, all that. He might have drawn more. And in the intro, y'all did see my other cousin, cousin's clothing brand, Red Point. He does have more clothing, clothing pieces coming out as well. So go follow both of them, y'all. Love is War and Red Point. Y'all seen their Instagram, so go follow them. All right, so here, starting in the middle. And I'm going to break off well. From my angle, the way I was standing at, so I was standing on his right side and not directly in the middle, but I knew where the middle was. I kind of went over to the right a little bit because I thought like, it looked straight from my angle, but it, it, it was slightly lowered. Because when I looked in the mirror, I obviously seen, obviously seen, seen it and made the adjustment. So it's all about knowing your 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 lines and your angles and finding out what works for you. So as you see, I'm breaking off to my right, his left. And it looks like I, I used the enhancements because he has his hair, his baby hair is laid down in the front already. And I didn't push back into his hairline because that's not what I like doing. I, I want to keep it as natural as possible. Then if I would have pushed them back, I would have been cutting into the braids, like the hair that the, the braids is pulling, I would have been cutting into that. So I don't want to do that. So I just want to leave it as natural, natural as possible. 
So here, this this was after my first time looking in the mirror, and I, I seen that his left side could go up a little bit more. So I'm just tapping this corner and using my corners to make it straight. And what you seen me do, I seen plenty of other barbers do it before. They using the, the end of their comb or brush to make sure the seat cups match up and are the same height and same level. So that's what I just did. And like I said, nothing will ever be perfect your first time doing it. So I'm just, just making small little adjustments as I go. And as you saying, I just stepped behind him and seen that this this right, my right side, his left could go up a tad bit more. So I'm adjusting it to make it to make it symmetrical and even. And now that I noticed, noticed that everything was even and symmetrical, I just had to fix the, the middle piece and adjust everything so it can look look like it's going straight across. And I kind of edited it out me shaking my head, but I did shake my head and nod like, yep, that's that's as that's as straight as possible. And here. I'm just knocking down the beard, not the beard, the mustache. I'm knocking down the ends of his mustache, and then, cause he did have like the, the old, old like I don't know what they call it. What type of what? Well, I don't know what those mustaches are called. But one of those mustaches where the ends curl up, like that's the type of mustache he had, and it was natural too. So like, I don't know, it was weird. But he had one of those mustaches. So just knocking that down and making sure everything's level and even. And you're gonna see me. Line that up real quick. And then we gonna get into the the enhancing part. The enhancing part is just fun to me. Cause it brings your cut to a whole nother level. And here, like I said, I'm just lining it up. It don't look like I'm doing much, but I am. You don't wanna push anything back into anything, but to the darker areas. That's not what barbering is. Barbering is about surgical work and the only why you see me use my corners and my tremors right the way I just did is because he still had hairs that I knew if I would use my guard use my clipper to try to knock down it wasn't going to get it so I just used my tremor and tilted the head and gonna help knock it down but here, as you see, Tone 45 clutch car and their black onyx uh, no drip. I'm using that in my coolest air compressor. Uh, in a little bit, you're gonna see how, how I'm giving him the, the natural look that he's looking for. Nothing looks too dark, nothing looks too fake. It just looks like he has his hair laid down and it's just as natural as possible. And you see how relaxed he looks in the chair? That's, that's what that's the vibe that I want to give off while you in my chair. I want you to have a relaxed, calm, soothing vibe. And not feel like you have to worry about me messing you up. So, that's just the vibe I like giving off. Giving off a, a reassuring vibe to get, put my clients at ease and make them feel more comfortable with themselves and their service that they're about to get. And as you see, like I'm barely hitting it for like I'm I'm barely spraying anything. I'm just filling it in the lighter spot to make his hair blend in just a little bit more. And that's it. Oh, I wish I got a man. Y'all should go follow me on Instagram, Hustle Cuts. Y'all go follow me. I got I got pictures and new videos that I'm about to drop soon on Instagram, and I think y'all gonna love them. But here, I just looked over at the other side to, to match up everything and make sure the C cups is, is C cups are matching up the way I need to. And he didn't want the the pencil, so with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do everything like it's a regular lineup with no enhancements at all. And like I told y'all before, I don't really count the pencil as an enhancement. It's it's, it's something that's not needed, but it is something that does enhance your haircut. 
I don't count it as enhancement because you can you can make the chalk line without the pencil. The pencil is just in a, a boosted effect. But as I said, he didn't want this, so I'm gonna. I didn't show y'all in this in this part, but I did use the razor to bring everything back to each other and keep all the hairs from growing back and making it last as long as possible. But and this after y'all gonna see like how how I did. Let me know how y'all think I did. I could have faded out the back, but I didn't. He didn't want that. He just wanted to tape up. Um, yeah. YouTube back with this outro. Yeah, bro, the 400. Put fours up because 400. But yeah, now we on the road to 400 subscribers. I appreciate that. I fuck with y'all. Y'all fuck with me. I love y'all like y'all love me. Yeah. Me. Give me a name for y'all. I want y'all to, to give me some names to call y'all. Well, call us as a community. I want, I want a name for us. Um. Yeah, that's all I can really say right now. But. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Man, drop me some ideas in the comments. I need some more ideas in the comments, man. Give me some goddamn ideas, bro.